वेलकम बैक ऑल ऑफ यू इन द पार्ट टू ऑफ क्लास ट्वेल्थ चैप्टर सेवन एन एम्पीरियल कैपिटल ऑफ विजयनगर सो एज वी स्टडीड इन द पार्ट वन ऑफ दिस चैप्टर दैट दे वॉज अ फेमस एम्पायर अवेलेबल इन द साउथ इंडिया ऑन द बैंक ऑफ द रिवर तुंगभद्रा नियर अराउंड द रिवर कृष्णा विजयनगर एम्पायर एंड हरिहर एंड बुक्का टू ब्रदर्स फॉर्म दिस एम्पायर एंड कृष्ण देवराया वॉज द प्रोमिनेंट रूलर ऑफ विजयनगर एम्पायर सो यू मस्ट बी अवेयर अबाउट द फ्यू लिटिल थिंग्स अबाउट दिस चैप्टर सो लेट्स मूव फॉर द so in uh, previous video you uh, we discussed about the role of the krishan devraya that how he ruled and what is the condition of vijayanagar empire under his rule and what happened after him so uh, we uh, studied that uh, he uh, he had some uh, rivals so uh, like uh, sultans of the deccan and uh, the ruler of the bijapur so uh, here we are going to discuss about uh, his battle with his rivals so the name of the battle is rakshi thangdi or the battle of the talikota so the military ambition of the ruler of vijayanagar and the deccan sultan resulted in shifting alignments meaning the rulers of the vijayanagar they had their own military ambition they want to expand their empire so that's why for the expansion of their empire they fought with the other rulers eventually it resulted in an alliance of the sultanat against vijayanagar ruled by sad sevar sevaraya so eventually its result that uh, uh, i want to make you here clear so that was a quite little complicated you should simply know that that sultan of the deccan so like sultan of bijapur golconda and uh, uh, orissa they joined the hands they made alliance against the ruler of the vijayanagar empire so in 1565 the battle of talikota the battle of talikota started and the army was led by ram raya from the vijayanagar empire ram raya led the uh, led the battle and the chief minister of vijayanagar and he was also the chief minister of vijayanagar so the army of vijayanagar defeated by the combined army of vijayanagar bijapur ahmednagar and golconda as i already told you that these three made alliance inhone aapas mein samjhauta kar liya tha against the vijayanagar empire so they defeated the vijayanagar army so the victorious armies the victorious armies sacked the city of the vijayanagar later on after their victory they sacked the city they had control on the city the city was abandoned within a few year and uh, when the city became under their control then they started abandoned the city and the city lost their previous glory so after the death of the aravidu dynasty shifted its focus to the east and ruled by panu khana later from the chandra giri near thrupati so uh, later on when the aravidu dynasty defeated then uh, this this sultanate also started declining and they shifted the area from uh, chandra giri near the thrupati so you heard about the thrupati balaji so uh, that location was near around uh, that area so here watch the video of the battle of the talikota i hope you can uh, easily understand this thing Hindu empires of India and the Bahmani Sultanate was first of its kind in South India the Bahmanis and the Vijayanagar empire were always at loggerheads until the Vijayanagar emperor Sri Krishna Deva Raya defeated them completely in 1518 the Bahmani Sultanate collapsed and split into five states Nizam Shahi of Ahmednagar Qutub Shahi of Golconda Viraj Shahi of Bidar Imad Shahi of Berar and Adil Shahi of Bijapur they were collectively known as the Deccan Sultanates these Deccan Sultanates often fought against each other and weren't a threat to the Vijayanagara empire which reached its peak under Krishna Deva Raya after Krishna Deva Raya's death in 1529 his younger brother Ashok Raya succeeded him though his reign was not as glorious as it was under Krishna Deva Raya the empire didn't face any threat from the deccan sultanates 
Vijayanagara was the largest, most well organized, and most militaristic Hindu state in southern India yet, formed in direct response to Islamic incursions deep into India. Its existence preserved the political independence of South India for 200 years. Yet, its strength threatened its northern neighbors, the Deccan Sultanates, and made reconquest as seem likely. The normally fearing Deccan Sultanates thus went to war against Vijayanagara Empire. Although it seemed like Vijayanagara had a decisive advantage of numbers, it suffered a humiliating defeat on January 26, 1565 at Thalikota. Though there are many reasons for the loss of Vijayanagara Empire, the betrayal by two Muslim commanders called the Jilani brothers of Vijayanagara Empire at a key point in the battle was the chief cause of the defeat. The net result of the battle was the So I hope you get the idea about uh, the Battle of the Rakshi Tangri. So now we are going to discuss about the relationship between the Sultan and the Royas. So here we are going to discuss the Sultan were the reason for destruction of the city of the Vijayanagara in the Battle of Talikota in 1565 because the Sultan of Vijayanagara lost in the battle and the other Sultans of the Deccan, they controlled on the Vijayanagara Empire and they sacked the whole town. But the relationship between the Sultan and the Rayas, Rayas meaning king, was not always hostile, was not always bad in spite of religious differences. They might have some religious differences between them, but that was not always happened. For example, Krishan Devraya supported basically claimants to power in the Sultanate and took pride in the title establisher of the Yuvana king. So you should know here that previously king generally obtained some titles. They basically obtained some titles like uh, here the king of Vijayanagara they acquired the title establisher of the Yuvana kingdom. Similarly the Sultan of Bijapur he also intervened to resolve the secession dispute in Vijayanagara following the death of Krishna uh, Devraya. One thing you should also know ki everything happened in the Vijayanagara after the death of Krishna Devraya because the ruler was not worthy to handle the empire so that the other rulers of the Deccan they started uh, their control over them. So another thing according to the historians Vijayanagara kings basically were keen to ensure the stability of the Sultanate and vice versa. So uh, they were keen to ensure that Vijayanagara empire can be stable or not. So another thing, due to adventurous policy of Rama Raya, uh, I hope you remember who was Rama Raya. We studied previously that Rama Raya was also the chief minister of the Vijayanagara empire and he fought as a leader in the battle of Talikota. So his attempt to play off one sultan against another, the sultan came together and defeated him deceivedly. We uh, watched in this video that sultans of De uh, Deccan made alliance and uh, fought against the ruler of the Vijayanagara and gave them defeat. The Naikas in the Vijayanagara Empire. So in the first lecture, I told you about uh, the Naikas, that Naikas was the military commander in the Vijayanagara Empire. They gave them term. Unko ek naam de diya gaya tha, military commanders ko, military chiefs ko. Aur wo name kya tha? Naikas. Got it? So uh, here is a... Naikas uh, in the Vijayanagara Empire basically uh, were military chief who exercised power and control forts and had armed supporters. So, I have told you one more thing about the Naikas system ke mein, that they had military commanders. So, Naikas were military commanders. So, what they did, there was a system going over there in which system uh, basically Naikas uh, provided military services to the king and king provided them lands. So, they land on agriculture on the land, peasantry, se, because king cannot hold the whole land. One thing uh, make uh, clear in th this chapter and in all chapters of history, especially Indian history, that all the state was under the king. 
सारे जितनी भी स्टेट के अंदर ज़मीन आती थी उस सबका राइट right किसके पास होता था किंग के पास होता था सो ही वॉज द ऑनर ऑफ द लैंड्स सो अनदर थिंग द नायका स्पोक तेलुगू एंड कन्नड़ा मैनी नायकाज वर अंडर द कंट्रोल ऑफ द किंग्स ऑफ द विजयनगर बट ऑफन रिबेल्स एंड फेस्ड मिलिट्री एक्शन बाय द किंग सो समाइम्स बिकॉज नायकाज हैड देयर ओन मिलिट्री सो समाइम्स दे रिबेल रिबेल मीन्स वो विद्रॉ कर देते थे किंग के अगेंस्ट बट किंग ऑलवेज सप्रेस थे सो अनदर थिंग यू शुड नो हेयर दैट नायकाज वर अकम्पनीड बाई पीजेंट क्योंकि वो पीजेंट से क्या कराते थे वॉट एवर द लैंड प्रोवाइडेड बाई द किंग उस लैंड के ऊपर उन्हें वो लोग एग्रीकल्चर प्रोवाइड करते थे सो द अमर नायका सिस्टम सो दे वॉज अ वन वेरी फेमस सिस्टम अवेलेबल इन द विच इन अ ग्राम पायर सो ऑलवेज पुट फोकस ऑन दिस चैप्टर बिकॉज एज यू ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू दिस चैप्टर वॉज क्वाइट इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू इन द बोर्ड एग्जाम्स एज वेल सो देर वॉज अ सिस्टम विद द नायकास विद द किंग द सिस्टम वॉज नोन एज अमर नायका सो वॉट इज़ द अमर नायका सिस्टम दैट वॉज अ सिस्टम अ मेजर पोलिटिकल इनोवेशन ऑफ द विजय नगर एम्पायर अ क्वेश्चन कैन कम फ्रॉम दिस स्टेटमेंट ऑल्सो दैट डिस्कस अबाउट द मेजर पोलिटिकल इनोवेशन ऑफ विजय नगर एम्पायर सो हेयर इज अ वेरी फर्स्ट पॉइंट मोस्ट प्रॉबेबली मेनी फीचर्स ऑफ दिस सिस्टम वर डिराइव फ्रॉम द एकता सिस्टम ऑफ डेली सल्तनत सो इट रिजेंबल विद द एकता सिस्टम ऑफ टेली सल्तनत इस सिस्टम के अंदर क्या था वही चीज़ इट्स वेरी सिंपल डोंट मेक इट कॉम्प्लिकेटेड सिंधी सी बात है कि अ किंग गेव अ पीस ऑफ लैंड टू द नायकास टू द मिलिट्री चीफ्स एंड मिलिट्री चीफ कीप अ लिटल बिट ऑफ आर्मी फॉर द किंग एंड लेटर ऑन दे सर्व द किंग विद द मिलिट्री विद देयर मिलिट्री वेन एवर द किंग रिक्वायर्ड जब भी राज्य को उसकी मिलिट्री की ज़रूरत होती थी तो वो उस टाइम उसकी हेल्प करते थे और जो ज़मीन राजा देता था उसके ऊपर वो एग्रीकल्चर करवाते थे किससे कराते थे पिजेंट्री से करवाते थे सो द अमर नायका वर मिलिट्री कमांड कमांडर्स दे वर गिवन टेरिटरीज टू गवर्न बाय द रॉया so their duty was to collect tax and other dues from peasant craftsmen and traded in the area they kept part of their revenue for personal use and for maintaining a stipulated contingent of horses and or elephants so it's quite simple that military commanders they had right wo taxes collect karte the uh, peasantry se craftsmen se or basically naikas had control over the people uh, like a third category of people like peasantry and the poor people they had basically control so what king did he made a channel for the better governance theek hai like today we have so he want to reach at the roots so he appointed naika so that they can go to different places and find out a and make out a, a network so uh, next is a Amar Naika system. Some of the revenue was also used for the maintenance of temple and uh, irrigation works. So uh, later on, whatever the revenue Amar Naikas got and Naikas got, they uh, just invested it in the betterment of the state. They sent tribute to the king annually and personally appeared in the royal court with gifts to express their loyalty. If the Naika want to remain on the post, like today's word, they always serve the king. वो हमेशा ओकेजनली किसी फेस्टिवल्स के ऊपर किंग को गिफ्ट्स प्रेजेंट करते थे कि किंग हमेशा उनको नायकास बना के रखें सो अनदर थिंग किंग्स अजर्टेड देयर कंट्रोल ओवर देम बाय ट्रांसफरिंग देम फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर सो हियर इज अ वन क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन यहाँ पे है दैट हाउ किंग कंट्रोल्ड द अमर नायकास हाउ किंग पुट कंट्रोल हाउ ही लाइक मेनटेन हिज कमांड ओवर द अमर नायका सो दैट क्वेश्चन कैन ऑल्सो कम सो वट ही डिड ही ट्रांसफर दैम फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर इन कोर्स ऑफ टाइम द इस्टेब्लिश इंडिपेंडेंट किंगडम दिस वॉज वन ऑफ द कॉज ऑफ वीकनिंग एंड डिक्लाइनिंग ऑफ द विजयनगर एम्पायर वट हैपन्ड वाई विजयनगर एम्पायर हैड डिक्लाइन बिकॉज द पावर विच किंग हैड गिवन टू द नायकास दे प्रॉपरली टेक बैड एडवांटेज डिसएडवाटेज ऑफ दैट सिस्टम एंड दे स्टार्टड गेनिंग पावर एंड स्टार्टड गेनिंग कंट्रोल ओवर द अदर एरियाज सो विजयनगर 
the capital and its environs so in the uh, in the next part uh, we will see uh, what kind of environment and what sort of buildings and water systems the vijayanagara empire have so let's move on about the city several travelers visit the city and wrote about it italian trader named nicolo di conti persian ambassador abdul razak a merchant named afansel nikitin from russia all of whom visited the city in the 15th century so you should know that uh, that uh, these traveler visited the vijayanagara empire this also can come in the question durate barbosa domingo piaz fernando nunes from portugal who came in the 16th century so all are the travelers who visited in the vijayanagara empire features of the water resources next we are going to talk about the water sources which were very famous in the vijayanagara empire so vijayanagara basically as we already know that it was located on the tungabhadra river so basically tungabhadra tungabhadra river flows north eastern direction large granite hills were around like a waste belt around the city a number of streams flowed as this was a rocky area embankment were made embankment what to store the water they made some embankment so along the streams to create reservoir of different sizes so with the help of embankment unhone water ko rok ke jagah jagah pe uske reservoirs bana liye the since vijayanagara was one of the most arid zone of the penzuela elaborate arrangements were made to store rain water to be used in the city so arid arid means not too fertile not less fertile so uh, what they did they did proper arrangement of the water they stored the water so that they can use in the other season as well first is a kamlapuram tank so this is also a very important question kamlapuram tank is the most important tank look at in the picture built in the early years of the 15th century and water from this tank were used not only to irrigate the fields but also to channel water into the royal center sirf agriculture ke liye use nahi karte is pani ko ye matlab uh, it also served in the like palaces of the king so here is a kamlapuram tank such a beautiful so distribution canal so this kind of distribution canals they made through which the water was distributed to the other areas features of the water resources another is a hiria canal so hiria canal was one of the prominent water works uh, uh, this canal drew water from a dam they also built dam such a fascinated thing so across the tungabhadra river and irrigate the fields cultivate the fields so uh, they all this canal such type of canal separated the sacred center from the urban core so this canal was built by basically kings of the sangama dynasty to ye canal kisne banaye the sangama dynasty ne and we are talking about the hiria canal features of fortification another important topic about the uh, fortification of vijayanagara empire so uh, i just want to provide you a little bit glimpse about the fortification so that we can discuss this topic in the tomorrow's video in the next video so uh, i just want to tell you that whatever the information about fortification we have so first and foremost we have that information uh, from abdul razak so abdul razak was a traveler who traveled in the vijayanagara empire and he wrote all about the like dividation of the empire so fortification basically kya hoti hai fortification means fort kya matlab kya hota hai kila so the hindi meaning of fortification is kile bandi kile bandi kar dena matlab like uh, uh, matlab puri city ko walled kar dena for the protection of the city that was a fortification so uh, in tomorrow's lecture we will study all this topic thank you have a wonderful day